hey guys hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is akusia benhene if you're new you're welcome if you're a tenant subscriber hey my love welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a quick makeup look okay so um with the way my life is structured right now i barely have time to do like a proper proper makeup so this is something that i've been doing a lot lately so i thought that i'll share with you so if you're a student if you're a worker if you have you know if you want to ace your day looking kind of cute or whatever then this is the look you should be doing it's not like a full glam full glam as compared to the everyday makeup look that i filmed for you guys before this is a very quick one when the baby's crying and you need to skedaddle something on your face you know what i mean so without further ado my last let's get right into the video because it's supposed to be 10 minutes if it's more than 10 minutes forgive me but technically it's 10 minutes okay let's get into it <laughs> say my name say my name no one is around you say baby i love you you ain't running game say my name say my name you acting kind of shady ain't calling me baby. okay so first things first definitely skin prep okay very important to always do skin prep before you do your makeup it gives you a nice application gives you a better wear out of your makeup look so first things first do skincare skin prep and then next i'm gonna go in with um my primer the primer that i'm using today is the maybelline bless thick so this is a pore minimizing primer that's what i deal with the most pores literally every time when i do my makeup i realize that my pores tend to show up you know so like i said i've been saying this in a lot of my videos but what you want to look at is your most problem like area what is the what's the thing that you deal with the most when you do your makeup so if it's pores pores if it's oils oils um and this is a light makeup look so i'd like to maintain my natural glow the natural oils that i have going on so i don't want to take it away totally so i'm just going to use this in areas where i need it this will just blur out my pores and help me have like a nice look so next i'm gonna go ahead and color correct or conceal so what i'm do what this is going to do is basically cover up um hyperpigmentation dark spots you know areas where i need to go ahead and cover up and this for me will be around my lip so this is just generally areas where you have dark pigment and then just a little bit on my forehead and then i also like to go um like highlight my under eye directly under the inner corners of my eye i just like to have that area kind of bright and i'm gonna use a brush to just go ahead and blend this in what that looks like so now the next thing that i'm gonna do is go ahead and cover up with my foundation and for foundation i'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite the one that i trust and this i know that will give me a skin like finish with foundation i'd say that pick one that you know that is the most closest to your skin shade because this is supposed to be a very light makeup look something that is supposed to give you a skin like finish nothing extra nothing over the top okay so this is the one that i like so i'm gonna start covering the areas where um i need the most coverage which is literally the areas where I didn't put any like concealer and I'll go over my whole face go over my concealer because also like I said you're trying to achieve a very natural look 
so even though I applied concealer I really don't want it to like show show next I'm gonna follow up with my powder I'm going to throw light basically highlight the areas where um, I need to highlight or highlight the areas where I'd originally highlight um, I'm just going to set those areas and this is all just a part of sort of bringing structure to my face because the foundation just gives you like a raw canvas like a raw slate it's all over, please get up and leave question tell me how you feel about this try to control me boy you get dismissed pay my own tunnel and i pay my own bills always get the good thing in relationships so that's what that looks like and then next i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and i like bold brows anyway i don't i think on any given day i like for my brows to pop regardless okay so i'm gonna be as light-handed as possible but um, it's still gonna show because i like for my brows to show but i'd say that you can do very light strokes if you want to go for a much more like natural looking brow this doll will give me what i want okay And then I'm going to do hair like strokes. And then I'm going to outline the top. So that's what that's going to look like. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and just clean that up. My daughter is up. That's more reason why I need to show you guys the tutorial because it's the quickest tutorial you can do. You literally have no time to do nothing. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids with the loose, the same loose setting powder that I used to set my under eye area. It's basically setting the concealer that I used in that area. Um, so to give my brows a much more natural look i'm gonna go in with some clear gel this is supposed to be clear and because of the brown pencil that i use it's not looking so clear anymore <laughs> but this is going to give me a nice feathery looking kind of brows and i find that that is the most natural lately then next i'm gonna go in with my blush just to give my face some structure give me some warmth you know B just because for this look we're not doing like the whole contour highlighting all of that shebang so this will help to give me nice structure and also give my face some like color some warmth all of that good stuff so I'm basically using it um, as a blush and also I'm using it to go over the areas where out of originally contoured and that would give me some nice warmth in that area next i'm going to go in with my highlighter you want to be very subtle very very subtle because <laughs> you don't want this to show through so much and i'm just going to keep this on like my highest cheekbone point or the highest point of my cheekbone i'm going to go over my temple i just like to sort of highlight those areas but you see you don't even really see the highlighter that's the whole point point. and oh i also like to put highlighter in the inner corners of my eye i feel like it elevates my look it doesn't it makes my look kind of look like i put in some effort but you didn't really have to put in any effort so just a little bit here and then next i'm gonna go in with some mascara <laughs> thing um last but not the least i'm gonna go in with my pressed powder this is actually powder foundation i like the coverage that this gives you and that's it that's literally it i don't do eyeliner i don't do any of that stuff because you barely have time you don't have time to do all of that stuff so um, i'm gonna set my face with a spray 
and um, for an everyday lip I am actually a balm kind of girl I love lip balms as compared to lip glosses so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my lip balm on because realistically that's what I'll do this is what it looks like and I absolutely love what the look turned out to be um, like I said earlier, it's only my brows that usually takes time. Comment down below if this is something that you would try or if this is something um, that you like, okay? If you like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. I'd love for you to give it a huge thumbs up. And yes, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.